through a tough battle there, but you're off the right side of it. How are you feeling after it? Ah, listen, mixed emotions really. I suppose relieved to get the result and get the two points on the board. You know, that's what today was all about. The, the first day in the championship is a really pressurised day because if you if you lose the first game, it puts you on the back foot, and uh, it can be very difficult. You know, going into your your second game a week later. So delighted with the result, performance-wise mixed. You know, there was times when we were in control, but there was other times when we weren't in control. And you know, I think energy-wise, I would have liked to have seen a bit more from the from the guys at times. Um, but you know, they'll be very honest in their own assessment of their own performances collectively and individually. And I'd expect you know that they'll they'll have plenty to, to go and focus on for the week ahead. One of those kind of niggly games, a stop-start first half anyway, mm -hmm. and the free count really skewed against you there. Yeah, listen, I think the ball was only in place for something like 14 minutes in the first half, you know, which is an extraordinarily small amount of time. Um, that's just quite simply down to the amount of stoppages in the, in, in, in the game. Um, but listen, we can't control that. And uh, I suppose it's the nature of the way the two teams engage with each other as well, you know, at times. Obviously forced to have to adapt them when Grodd Hegarty went off. Um, I didn't see what the first yellow was for, but the, the second yellow, your thoughts on it? I did, I, listen, I didn't genuinely see the incident with, with Conor Leeson. Uh, it was just literally right down the sign line. There was a lot of bodies there, so I haven't seen that. Um, but listen, when you're on a yellow, you're always at risk and you have to be careful. But I suppose the piece, the piece after that was probably very disappointing, but I'm sure it'll be different. A couple of missed goal chances and obviously a missed penalty from your point of view as well, John. Uh, yeah, I, I think both sides will probably rue many of the chances that they, they left behind them. You know, Waterford in the last quarter left a good number behind them as well. Some of them not pressurised, and you know they'll be disappointed with those. Uh, but listen, from our perspective, you know I think we were very efficient with the chances we did get in the second half. The penalty was disappointing, um, but you know we'll uh, we'll work on that and we'll hopefully be a better team next Saturday night. Just finally for me, the average is normally around 30 points. I think over the last number of seasons, so you're well down in that score mark. Obviously down the man as well, though that made a difference. Yeah, listen, the, the scoreline never concerns me once we're on the right side of it. So whether it's uh, 12 points to, to 11 or whether it's 30 points to 29, I don't care. But once we get out the right side of it, um, you know, all these games are going to take on a, a life of their own and we'll have different uh, shapes to them. You know, today's game was probably always going to be a scoreline very similar to what you had in the finish today. What's the news on Dickie Hannan? I don't know. Let's, I haven't had any chance to meet Declan or meet the medical team or have them assist. So. John, does it suit him slightly in a way, you know, with all the talk even beforehand, six in a row, never mind four in a row, to kind of come through a really tight, tough battle like that? Listen, let's be honest about it. There was some amount of bullshit spoke about our team and the season ahead this week and the week before. All right, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a softening up exercise mentally, I suppose, from those outside of our camp. But uh, we're around a long time. We know that that's all folly and nonsense at the end of the day. Every day you go out, you're up, you're there to be beaten. We saw that again today. You know, a couple of chances go left, right on you, and you're, you're in that situation where you lose your game. And every day we go out, we know we can possibly be beaten. And that's just the way it is. So I think that was a lot of nonsense. Uh, I think people might hopefully have a little bit more reality about their perspective and their analysis of where things are going. And maybe just focus in now the fact that we're playing Clare next weekend. And we played them for nearly, what, uh, 100 minutes here last year. And there was a the fucking ball between us. So, uh, and the same in Innes last year as well. So these games are all really, really tough battles individually. And that, you know, from our perspective, our focus was solely on just getting the result today and being the best team that we could be. And next Saturday even to be the best team we can be against Clare. Is it impossible in a way to insulate players fully from all that kind of it's not, it's, it's, not, it's not possible to insulate them from it at all, in the minds fully, uh, because they, they, don't, they live in the real world. They have to go to work every day, they have to meet the relations, that, you know, that they have phones obviously with information on it, so you can't, you can't block them off or hunt them away somewhere. So, you know, you've just got to acknowledge the fact that this is nonsense, this is not true, this is lies. You know, this is this is a softening up exercise, and you can accept that and allow it to interfere with how you prepare and how you play, or you can, you know, get on with your job and accept that every single time you're on the ball, you're going to get hit, hit like a train, and uh, you know, be ready for that. Do you think it did interfere, John? I don't think it interfered uh, at all, to be quite honest, because we dealt with it. You know, uh, I knew this was going to be a really tight game. Am I the only one that's surprised about the result here today? What's the problem, like? You know, what for a fantastic side. You know, they've been in a couple of All-Ireland finals in the last number of years. They've been in Munster finals. You know, they're a serious, serious team. And, you know, they brought out an absolutely massive challenge to us today. And we're just relieved to come out the right side. And, you know, we need to respect 
we have huge respect for the opposition. I think people need to have more respect for the other teams that are out there and what they can bring and what you know what's at stake. Every day you go out, there's a, there's a game at stake and you've got to lay it on out there. And if you if you can do enough, you might get out the right side of it. And if you don't, you won't. It doesn't matter who you are. John, the composure shown after Grove was sent off, though, was huge. Scored the next three points. Yeah, I think you know that was the response we needed. And hats off to the lads for that. The way they kept calm, kept composed, kept our shape. You know, and you know, I think we really battled very, very hard inside our own 45 in that last 15 minutes. And I think that was the key piece. You know, the high balls were coming in. There was a huge amount of ball coming into the full back line, but we got one man up. We contested hard on the ground. When we won it, we broke out. There were support runners there, and we were smart in using the ball, getting it out through the field, and a few vital frees. And, and uh, listen, I'm very happy with that aspect of the game. There's other aspects which we will clearly have to improve on. Our own for being one of them uh, for next Saturday night.